What up guys, it's Tops, and I am back for episode 4 of Let's Play Super Meat Boy. We are back here once again in the Salt Factory, since we didn't finish that last time. I actually noticed that we did not get an A+, plus on level 5, so let's try this. Oh, it's this level, okay, let's, let's actually go there, okay. Okay, I messed that up twice. So, we have to be really good with this one if we want to get A+, plus on it. Um, let's go over here, you might as well. Um, okay. I don't even think, yeah, we didn't have to get that last conveyor belt. So, oh, I actually like press replay level. I meant to press exit to map. Um, okay, so now we have an A plus on all the levels up to level 15. Uh, so let's try this one. And, you know what? Let's play as this crab because we haven't done that in a while. This is very weird playing as this character. I, I don't really know when this would, I guess the only time you'd have the advantage is when like you just need time to think. But that would never really help you for going for the... Yeah, this isn't really going to work, is it? Alright, let's just... Let's continue to try this. I don't know, maybe... Maybe we should try it. What? Okay, that's... This is not really being nice to me right now. Okay, come on. Alright. I wonder if... the. I don't think the parts are based on characters, actually. Yeah, they're not. Um, so we still have to get the same time no matter what character we play as. Let's go and play as Meat Boy, just because that's going to actually get us the time we want. So yeah, I guess maybe I shouldn't have played as Head Crab. I should have just left that character to never be used ever, because it's bad. Okay, let's just redo this, because we're not going, uh, we're not starting off with the, oh, okay. That, that could happen. Oh, okay. All right. That, yeah, we, we should probably just start up again. <laughs> I'm trying to get the A+, plus, and if I wasn't, then this all those attempts would have been fine. Um, I wouldn't have had to just restart. I'm purposely restarting when I die here right now, guys. Um, just because, like that, yeah, after doing that, let's just die again. Because um, if you want to get A+, plus, you got to be really fast. That time, I mean, it was a little bit of a mess up, but I think it's fine. It should be fine. Let's see. Is this going to be A+. Plus? Yep. All right. There we go. Okay. Um, This level, I think we have to wait here for a while. Pretty sure that's how we do it. Because that thing comes up. And I think if we just keep waiting here, yeah. Eventually, it gets close enough to hit you. At first, I thought you had to just, like, get as a character that could, like, dig through that or something. Um, But, no. You just wait there. And, as you can see, how are we going to get past those spikes? Agmo from Jumper. I've never really heard of that game either, but um, yeah, it's probably another indie game. Um, and this guy could double jump, so yeah, he's our first character that could double jump because I believe that there are multiple characters who can double jump. Um, but he's our first one, so let's just hop around here. Okay, that is actually a little bit difficult. So we have to have like perfect timing for this level. Okay, let's try it like this. Oh, we almost made it. Okay. All right, come on. There we go. And all right, so yeah, it's a little bit tricky getting this. None of the levels in the main game are gonna be like this. It's just gonna be all the regular levels that you can do without a double jumper, but some of those bandages, I think we are gonna need someone who could double jump to get. Um, maybe even ones that we've passed over there. I don't know, there might've been bandages that I just haven't even seen in areas that need someone to double jump with. I, I don't know if there is though, cause I'm, I'm still not positive if there, if there are bandages in the dark world or not, and I think they are, so I'm pretty sure that most of the ones that I haven't gotten to are in the dark world. Because I've been really looking out for them, so I don't think I missed too many. Um, Alright, so there we go. Now we're on to the third. Oh, oops. Alright, so this level. This level I kind of like, even though it's a little bit annoying. I kind of like it because it, it's pretty... I don't know, I guess it's like sort of innovative. Because it really makes use of the fact that when he double jumps, he can just like fly back in any direction. Um, and the double jump isn't so much of a vertical gain as it is a horizontal gain. And that's what this level really shows off. Um, so, yeah, there we go. Sorry, but Bandage Girl's another warp zone. And we unlocked Ogmo. Alright, that's cool. Alright, let's go back to 316. Let's try Ogmo out because Ogmo is pretty cool. He's one of my favorite characters because his double jump is awesome. Um, whenever I don't play as Meat Boy, like, most of the time I'm playing as Agmo. Alright, let's get this key. And this might actually help us get the A+, because, yeah. 
Um, double jumping can help you skip through a lot of stuff that you wouldn't be able to normally get through, like, with that fast. Okay, let's hop back down here. Oh, alright. This level, well, you might actually want to get Super Meat Boy just because he's faster. That, yeah, Super Meat Boy is probably the wiser option for this level, actually. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna go ahead and restart this as Super Meat Boy. Um, let's, yeah, let's just stick to one side, pretty much. Because that way it's easier. Okay. And there we go, A+. Alright. Next level. Oh, I remember this one. Alright, this one is interesting. How do we get to, oh, wait a minute. I'm confused, how do we get up there? Oh, I see how to... Okay, wait. We're gonna have to redo this to get the A+, plus, but whatever. Alright. Oh! I really thought we'd have enough time. Okay. If you really don't have time in between these intervals. Okay, so maybe we should just go for the A+, plus first. Just so we have it. Because I'm pretty sure this would be an A+, plus if we finish it now. Yep, okay. So we're gonna redo this to try and get that bandage now. Um... I don't know, playing it as like a character like Ogmo help. That that might actually be the better option. Let's see. I'm just gonna do it, try and do it one more time as Meat Boy since we're already in the level, but if this doesn't work, I'm gonna switch to Ogmo because the double jumping could potentially help. Because if you could just Oh my gosh, I forgot. That's stupid how when you uh, the reason why that happened, um is because when you go like out of the boundaries, even if you go too high, you lose, which is stupid. I, there wasn't, it would, it would sort of make sense if in this particular level there was like an obstacle that you could skip by going up high, but there wasn't. There was no obstacle that I was jumping over, I was just jumping up. There's absolutely no reason to make it so that you lose by going up high. I don't really know what the reason is at all. All right, let's try. Alright, this is annoying, because then, as a character like Ogmo, you have the double jump, but you don't have the speed, and you really need speed in a level like this, too. So let's just stay by here, and we'll just keep double jumping until... Alright, here we go. We have an opportunity to get up now. Alright, this is where is gonna come in handy, because we just grabbed this, let me just hop right back out. Okay. Come on. There we go. Okay. And there we go. Alright. Next level. Um, oh, this is also going to start us off as Agmo. I don't know if Agmo is the best choice for this course. Let's see. Let's see if we can do it. Yeah, I think we might as well just switch to Meat Boy. Alright, let's go. Alright, come on. No, that didn't work. What? Alright, come on. Oh, I messed that up. All right, let's just let's just redo this. There's no bandage to get, so there's no point of playing it twice just to get the um in one time with A plus one without when we could just get A plus both times. All right, there we go, A plus. All right, okay, this is the last level. Um, wow, I didn't really think we'd be up here already. Um, maybe I should have just done the Soul Factory in one episode. It might have been better that way, but whatever. Um, you guys have it in two. And, alright, that might actually take us a little bit to get. Let's see. Wait. Oh, that wasn't the right key. Okay. Let's try and grab this. Oh. Alright. <laughs> we could have gotten the A plus ranking right there, probably. But, we didn't. <laughs> because I tried to get the other key. Alright, so we're definitely going to get the bandage on the A plus. It's just... Depends on what order we do them in. I don't really care what order. Honestly. Oh! That's what I mean. Like, when... Um... You can't, like, jump right into them. That time, it was kind of inevitable. But... That time, too. That time, it really was inevitable. Because... It was... It just... There we go. Okay. Because if you don't do that fast enough... You have to, like, come in there really fast, too. Because... If you don't... Then it'll just, like, go straight into you. And there's nothing you can do about it. Alright, there's the A+. Alright, now let's really take our time. Maybe we should be a character like Ogmo. That might actually ver really help with these obstacles.
Let's go. Alright, come on. Here we go. Sorry guys, I had to go for a second, but we're back. Alright, let's... Oh, that... We almost made it that time. Okay, so it's a little bit harder as Ogmo for this section. What? Oh, we went too high. That's ridiculous. Why? Is it even possible? I wonder if it's even possible to do that section as Ogmo. It might not be. Because even though Ogmo does have the double jump, he is very, very, very slow. He's probably, um... One of the slowest characters in the game. Definitely not the slowest, because that trophy goes to the head crab, but... Um... Ooh! We actually need it. Okay. But we shouldn't celebrate yet, because we still have a long way to go. Okay. Here we go. Now we just have to get back to Bandage Girl. And we did it! We did it! We got the Bandage. Alright. Here we go. Alright, so that, that's good. That was it. Now we have, we have all A+. Plus. Let's see. Before we go to the boss, let's check. Do we have all A+, pluses in the other worlds? Just because like this episode has not it's only been going on for like 10 minutes. I want to see if there's anything else you could do before we fight the boss. Oh, there is no A+, plus there. Wow, I am surprised that I completely skipped over that. Alright, let's try and get the A+, plus here. Just because I want to try and get A+, plus on every single level. So when we complete the game... Um, let me go straight to that thing that comes after that, which I haven't really talked to you guys that much about, but yeah, there's gonna be something at the end of the game, um, like after we're done with everything in the main story, that if we have A plus on everything, we could just go straight to. Um, so that'll be cool. Which is why I want to get the A pluses, like, every episode I'm like, alright, yeah, let's do this level twice, we'll get the bandage one time, A plus the other time. I don't know if this, is that gonna be fast enough? Okay, that is fast enough. Alright, that's cool. Um, let's go back to the forest. Let's see if I skipped any there, too. Uh, we might as well before we can- Alright, can we? Alright, we're going fine with time because- Alright. Um... Yeah, alright, good. We have all A-pluses. So we have- every level we've done so far, we have an A-plus on. Which is good. That's a good way to start off. It's gonna be hard near the end because some of the levels are just hard to even complete near the end. So getting an A-plus is gonna be really difficult. Um... And maybe some I won't get an A-plus on, but I want to try and get an A-plus on them all. Um, alright, so let's go to the boss now, Brownie. Is this gonna be it? Oh, that's, that's kind of awkward. What? Oh. Yeah, guys, you probably see what this boss is gonna be already. It's kind of disturbing. Somehow that is hooked up to an elevator, it looks like. Yeah, we are actually fighting a piece of crap right now. That's... That's great. <laughs> this is one of those just funny boss battles that are just, like, disgusting. It, funny in a disgusting way. And we're actually not going to be fighting, though, because the salt, I guess, hurts both of us. So we just have to both race out of here as fast as possible. Um, so we're not really fighting this guy. Um, He's just kind of being like our guide, I guess, just to get out of here because we both need to leave before we both die. So we just kind of have to hop along here. It's not really that difficult if you know what to do. I do know what to do, so I'm just going to be flying ahead right now. Um, oh, maybe not for long because he is actually getting ahead of me now. Um, I'm going to go up this side. And I think we're actually near the end already. Yeah, so here we go. That, <laughs> that was really short, actually. Uh, we got up to the end pretty fast. Um, but Brownie is falling. Oh no. Dr. Fetus is just not, ha I don't get why he's doing that, because Brownie was supposed to be evil, and then, I guess since, like, both me Boy and Brownie got to the end together, and, like, they helped each other out, and they were, like, friends and stuff, and that's when Dr. Fetus is like, nope, you can't be friends, you just get to die. Now let's see what he's gonna do with this. What his big plan's gonna be. And <laughs> he just does that. He's just like, screw it, and he just throws it at us, and we fall down. So, 
Um, yeah, that's the end of chapter three. So, yeah, I guess I'm just gonna wrap up the episode here. Sorry it's so short. Uh, the last one was somewhat short, too. Um, but I'd rather that than just have one giant episode, because that's just really hard for me to edit, too. So, um, I hope all you guys enjoyed. Um, if you did, please leave a like. It really helps out. Thank you guys so much for the support. This is Tops, and I'm out. See you guys in the next video.